Hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> you hungry? Um, uh, what do you got? I got some ham and turkey and green beans and corn and sweet rolls. <clears throat> Alright, Stacy here? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I heard you hollering.
Here we go. I got you some. Got you a couple of teas. Um, got you dinner. I got you some pop tarts. Put you some Oreo cookies in there too. I'll sit right here. Thank you, man. Not a problem. All right, Andy. Be good. See you, Stacy. She there? <laughs> All right, y'all try to stay warm.
Tina, how you doing? I got you some, I got you a hot meal here, I got you some ham and turkey and rice and gravy and all of that, and some Oreo cookies, oh, pop tart, I got you a, it's no kind of cold out here, but I got you a Powerade, thank you, and all that stuff, so I got all this for you, so whenever thank you're ready, you. I already took care, oh, I'm sorry, I already took care of Robert, so. yeah, he gave me the watch, I'm just, well, trying, I'm just trying to get me a phone so I can put in applications. So well, I they can are actually giving free phones. Um, they're giving free phones. I see them doing it. They set up those little tents all yeah, the way but around. Most the of them that they're giving away nowadays, you can't go online and put in applications with them. Oh, you need a computer. No, you, if you have a touchscreen phone. Uh, you can actually fill out applications on it. How are you getting along? He told me y'all okay. went to detox. Yeah, 20 days clean. I was just trying, my body's trying to heal from all the seizures I've been having. But after that, me and him would be good. Try to get his job, get off the streets. Alright, well, I missed you last Sunday. Yeah, and because I didn't we, see we were actually out in the country. Yeah. So we could, uh, clean up ourselves. And get off the drugs. There you go. That's a great start. So. Yeah, Robert told me. I'm really, really happy for you. Now I'm gonna be praying for you. Now we're just trying to get jobs. To get out. I'll check right. around and see about, see if there's any free programs for phones. It's got a good phone. Yeah, because that's phone. all I'm trying to do is fill out for. You try to stay warm. I am. Is that blanket good enough, or you need another blanket? Yeah, because it's a little wet down there. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, but you need a little toboggan like this? A little beanie cap? I got one, but it's just, it keeps falling back down. Oh. Yeah, here in a few minutes, I'm about to go back over there, because ain't nobody wanting to give me a phone, but they get mad at people, because you got to have a phone before you can get a job nowadays. They don't do the paper applications. And people want to call us a bum when we try to get help. Well, let me get out of here. I don't want to distract anybody from stopping and helping you out. All right, thank you. Tina, you be good. Oh, yeah, trust me. I ain't going back. All right. Well, I'm praying for you. Thank you. Right. Oh, he does all the time. All right, be good. I took her one. I just took her a hot meal. Yeah, I serve them out. I, I take So, I've been doing it for years. Oh, okay, that's awesome. And so you like have resources? Are there resources in town for people like this? They can no. get into a shelter or anything like no. that. I've been trying to start one for years. Really? And yeah, there's no resources at all. Huh. And uh, like I said, I mean I've before before Buford actually started having homeless, I was doing Savannah and Charleston oh. and Atlanta. Oh, okay. And uh, when I noticed we had them here, I quit going to the other places focused here because I live here gotcha gotcha okay and uh so I feed here waterfront okay. different areas I'd like to cover more but the warmers and servers I've got in the back of my Durango mm -hmm. I can only feed so much and I run out yeah can I ask you just your opinion because I was talking to my kids about it they were like Ooh, can we help her blah 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 because we're followers of Jesus too and we feel like we need to help people that are in need and I I'm like glad that. you said that That's you must be from out of town. No, I mean, we go to St. Helena's Anglican downtown. Uh, but you're in another, 
You're over, you're over on the island, right? No, no, we're right here in Beaufort, downtown. Oh, okay. The church's been there, been there for a couple hundred years. Yeah, okay, yeah. I, so... I thought maybe you're out of town because these guys we, we got a lot of... I just spent back over in the woods. I go to the campsite. Oh, uh, okay. Can I ask your opinion on, like, how best to help them if you see something like that? Because I mean, I've always heard, we well, give them money, but don't give them money because they might be buy using drugs or something like that. No. Like, what's... If you give them money, they're going to buy alcohol and drugs. Okay. That's why I serve food. Okay. And um, I'll I'll bring them clothes. You know, I asked her if she needed any. You know, that's Tina. I know Tina. She, okay. I've been serving her and Robert, her her boyfriend, husband, um, for quite a while. Uh, I'd like to find churches that have a heart mm -hmm. to reach out to people. Okay. Well, I know St. Helena's downtown has been doing things in the just the local community. And help Buford is right behind them. They're yeah, building. that helps. And yeah. I, I just don't. We we've not. We've only been here a couple of years, and we've got four young kids. So like, we feel like our level of involvement is slowly increasing as you know our, the craziness of our own. I life. think it's great. So anyway, we just. I never hinder anybody that wants to help. Yeah. Um, and yeah, bringing them a bringing them a drink and, and something like that it helps mm -hmm. out. They get a lot of that. Okay. So I, that's why I I switched it up and and I bring out. I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning on Sundays, I uh, cook the meals. I'm just keeping it on my car. I keep you in there. Oh, but uh, I cook the meals and everything, get up at 5, cook the meals, get everything ready, bring them out in those warmers. Those warmers get 185 degrees. Mm -hmm. They'll keep the food hot, steaming hot till I'm done serving. Gotcha. And so it, it helps out because I wanted to give them a hot meal. Sure. Because I, I get tired of seeing them digging in these dumpsters and getting these leftovers from the pizza place and stuff gotcha. like that. Okay. And um, but see, I'm a preacher too, so it's a matter of not just getting them that, getting right. the gospel as well. Right. Exactly. So, well, God bless you. What you're doing. He That's does. Awesome. He does. Um, he does. I have a yeah, on my card. It'll show you. I also I do a uh, YouTube channel as well, oh, okay. trying to show the need that we have here in Houston. Yeah. All right. I I let everybody know I'm not an entertainer. I'm yeah. an educator. Yeah. And I want to educate that our homeless here are different than the ones in the city. We yeah. have. Many of them that are out here that are working jobs hmm. and living in the woods. Hmm. So we've got a lot of different situations. Some of them are drugs. Yeah. Some of them are lost their house, lost their job. Everybody's got a different story. Okay. But there are some that are trying to make ends meet. Some of them like living out here. But my main goal is try to get them the gospel. Yeah. But I'd like to get a shelter going so I can help them get a job. You know have somewhere where they can, um, I can have contractors come in and maybe even have them for day laborers, mm -hmm. get them working, because a lot of these contractors, if they're good day labor workers, they'll hire them on full time. Yeah. So, there's yeah. a lot of incentive to try to find different programs to try to get them in. Some of these, they won't get hired.